buildings have gotten higher and higher over the past few years due to advancements in building materials and techniques. And when it comes to creating mega-tall structures, the possibilities are endless with a deeper comprehension of aerodynamics. There are already many amazing buildings in the world that demonstrate the skills of structural engineers and architects in creating these amazing gravity-defying constructions. Here are some of the top 10 biggest skyscrapers in the world. Please like this video and make sure to stick around till the end. Burj Khalifa Dubai. Since its completion in 2010, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai has held the title of being the highest skyscraper in the world. The project has won 63 stories, seven acres of parkland, 30,000 residential units, nine hotels, 19 residential towers, a shopping center, and a 30-acre artificial lake. The structure is a component of the United Arab Emirates government's long-term plan to shift the country's economy from one that is exclusively dependent on oil to one that is more service and tourism focused. Adrian Smith, the Burj Khalifa's designer, is currently working on Saudi Arabia's Jeddah Tower, which is scheduled to open in 2017 and become the world's first building to reach a complete kilometer of 3,281 feet. Shanghai Tower, China. The Shanghai Tower, the second tallest structure in the world, was constructed over eight years and is the tallest of the megatall skyscrapers located in the center of Shanghai's Lujiazui Financial District. Although it was finished in 2015, the public wasn't able to see it until 2016. The building was designed by American architectural company Gensler, with Chinese architect Zhu Xia in charge of the design team. Comprising nine interlocking cylindrical structures, the tower offers 320 hotel rooms, in addition to shops, dining options, cafes, and gardens. As it rises, the skyscraper twists offering guests 360-degree vistas of the city from its public spaces. Maka Royal Clock Tower Hotel. The government-owned Maka Royal Clock Tower Hotel, popularly referred to as the Abraj al Bayit Towers, is a significant cultural and social landmark in Saudi Arabia. Situated close to the holiest site in Islam, Masjid al-Haram, the largest mosque in the world, this complex of buildings was constructed as a part of an endeavor to modernize the city and accommodate pilgrims. A five-story commercial mall, a museum, hotel rooms, conference spaces, residential apartments, a big prayer area, and a lunar observation center for viewing the moon during the holy months are all part of the expansive complex. Although the complex is the third tallest structure in the world, the clock face of the tower designed by German architect Mahmoud Bodo Rasch, is the largest in the world. Lotte World Tower. Situated in the Sinchen Dong area of Seoul, next to the Han River, is the 123-story Lotte World Tower. It is next to the first-generation Lotte World Complex, which has a shopping center, movie theaters, and a theme park. It originally opened its doors in 1989. The tower was completed in 2015, culminating 13 years of planning and preparation, and the building's outward construction was completed in March 2016. The building isn't yet accessible to the general public, though. The inside will include 123 levels in all, with shops, apartments, a five-star hotel, private offices, and public access floors, with an observation deck at the top. One World Trade Center. Situated in Lower Manhattan, New York City, the One World Trade Center is the tallest and most prominent structure in the United States. David M. Childs created it intending to make management and making it the focal point of the New York skyline following the events of 9-11. Offices, dining options, broadcast and antenna facilities, and an observation deck with breathtaking vistas of Manhattan are all housed in the 104-story structure. The building's design incorporates life safety systems and sustainability through the use of renewable energy, 
robust fireproofing, and rainwater recycling. The renovated World Trade Center Transportation Hub and the National September 11th Memorial and Museum are also located within One World Trade Center, CTF Finance Center. The second of the two Guangzhou Twin Towers, which are situated in the Tianhe district of the city and provide views of the Pearl River, is the CTF Finance Center, another enormous skyscraper in China. The first was finished in 2010, and the CTF Finance Center, also called the Guangzhou East Tower or the Chao Tai Fuk Finance Center, opened its doors in 2016. Featuring 111 stories, the project is a mixed-use urban complex featuring a convention center, offices, retail space, residential apartments, an observatory, and a Rosewood Hotels and Resorts Hotel located on the upper 16 stories. The skyscraper contains second-level bridges, connecting it to other buildings and subterranean links to public transport. Taipei 101. Taiwan's modern landmark, Taipei 101, combines Asian customs with modern technology. The skyscraper, with its unique blue-green glass curtain walls and various design elements incorporating traditional Asian symbolism and feng shui philosophy, is built to withstand earthquakes and typhoons. For instance, the dazzling yellow glow at the top of the building is interpreted as a welcoming flame that also represents liberty, and its 101 stories represent the rebirth of time. Between its completion in 2004 and the Burj Khalifa's completion in Dubai in 2010, Taipei 101 was the largest building in the world. It has been recognized as the world's tallest and largest green building by leadership in energy and environmental design. Shanghai World Financial Center the 101-story Shanghai World Financial Center, which is housed in the Pudong neighborhood of Shanghai, is a key hub for global trade and banking. It is made up of ground-floor retail malls, hotels, conference rooms, offices, and observation decks. The skyscraper, which resembles a bottle opener, is well known for the hole at the top. The Observation Tower's gift store sells working replicas of bottle openers. After reaching its peak in September 2007, the Shanghai World Financial Center was recognized as the best-finished skyscraper of the year by architects. American architectural company Cohn Pedersen Fox created the structure. International Commerce Center The International Commerce Center in Hong Kong, a 108-story skyscraper, is ranked number 10 on the list. It was supposed to be the world's highest skyscraper, but local laws prohibiting structures from rising higher than the nearby mountains forced the height to be lowered. The skyscraper, which was finished in 2010, houses a five-star restaurant, a retail center, a Ritz-Carlton hotel, business offices, and an observatory known as Sky 100. The International Commerce Center is notable for something other than its inability to achieve its aim of being the world's tallest skyscraper. It holds the record for having the largest light and sound show on a single building, according to the Guinness World Records. Pingan International Finance Center The Pingan International Finance Center was the fourth largest building in the world and the second largest tower in China when it was completed in April 2015, albeit it is yet unfinished. At first, the finance center was supposed to top the Shanghai Tower, the highest structure in China. But in early 2015, the 60-meter antenna that was supposed to be at the top was removed due to concerns that it might interfere with aircraft traffic. The 115-story structure, which is part of Shenzhen, China's central business district will house Pingan Insurance's headquarters in addition to hotel rooms, offices, retail stores, a posh mall, and an observation deck at the top. With the world's strive for skyrocketing skyscrapers, we may see many such structures in the upcoming years, and some may surpass the current record of the world's tallest buildings. However, until then, enjoy every detail inside this video 
along with the interesting facts about these architectural marvels designed and created by the outstanding architects. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you.